Okay, welcome to class today. Proudly brought to you by edfest.ng and school media. Today, we're looking at three dimensional figures from Uncle Ed. So here's what you must learn by the end of this class. Firstly, number one, we must identify the properties of cubes and cuboids. We have to identify the properties of pyramids and cones. We have to identify the properties of cylinders and spheres. And also, lastly, find the volume of a cube and cuboid. So follow me as we take a ride through this class. First on a list of objects we have for today is a cube. So here's what a cube looks like. It has a vertex and an edge. We have several of them in their homes like the Maggi cube and the sugar cube. These are examples of cube. The properties of cubes can be listed as follows. First, it has a shape where it is a shape where all six faces are squares. It has eight vertices and 12 edges. So take note of that. When you see a cube, this is what you should see. Also, next we have the shape we call cuboid. The cuboid is similar to a cube, just that all the faces of a cuboid are rectangular in shape. So the properties of a cube is number one. It has six faces and each face is the shape of a rectangle. Like I said earlier, it also has 12 straight edges and eight vertices also. What is a vertex and what is an edge? Please take note of that. A vertex is a point or corner where three or more edges meet while an edge is a line where two faces meet. That's very important for you to note. So next on a list of solid figures we have for today is a cylinder. Okay, a cylinder can exist in the form of your tin, um, milk tin, or um, your batteries and some other objects we could have in the home. So here's what a cylinder looks like. It has a cup surface and a circular surface. The properties of a cylinder are, one, it has two plain circular faces and one curved surface. It has two curved edges and no vertex. Yes, these are the properties of a cylinder. Next on of solid figures is a cone. So below we have the figure of a cone with one vertex and a circular base. How do we identify a cone? In case you see one, a cone has a circular base, it has a curved surface, that is one curved surface, it has one vertex and one curved edge. Usually a cone is attached or usually a part of one of larger objects that we may find around like the tip of your pencil attached to the cylinder of the pencil. So these are that's one of so many other examples of what a cone is or how it exists. Next on the list is what we'll call pyramid. Yes, like the Egyptian pyramid. So we have a rectangular based pyramid, also referred to as a tetrahedron, and also a hexagonal based pyramid. So in this case, pyramids exist in various forms. We could have a square based pyramid or some other pyramid which has a polygon of any number of sides as the base. So in this case, a pyramid apart from its base, all the faces are triangular in shape. Yes, only the base may be different in shape, but the other faces are triangular in shape. The base could take the shape of a square, a rectangle, or any polygon. A hexagonal based pyramid has seven vertices, seven faces, and 12 edges. So it's quite important you note that. The prism also is one of our solid figures we're considering today. And here's a triangular based prism and a hexagonal based prism. What are the properties of these two kind of prisms? Number one, the base and top faces of a prism are always the same. The side faces are rectangular in shape. The cuboid can be seen as a rectangular prism. A triangular prism has six vertices, five faces and nine edges. We could also have a square based prism. In this case, it's going to be a cuboid. Yes. A cylinder can be regarded as a special kind of prism. So you can also count the faces, the vertices, and the edges of each of the shape. Make sure you note them down on your book. And lastly, for today, 
we're taking a look at the volume of a cube and a cuboid. So the volume of a solid is a measure of the space it takes up. Hence, the basic unit of a volume of volume is one cubic meters. So, but in this case, volume of a cube is given as L times L times L. That is L cubed. Let's have an example so we understand how to calculate the volume of a cube. He says calculate the volume of a cube with side 5cn. Here's the solution. We already know that volume is given as L cubed. So we simply multiply 5 times 5 times 5 to give us 125cm cubed. Yes, that's the volume of a cube. When we can, we can also find the volume of a cuboid by finding the product of its length, breadth, and height. So once we have the length, breadth, and height, we multiply them to have the volume. And also, you can also say area of base times height as the volume of this cuboid. So here's the example. He says, find, calculate the volume of a cuboid that measures 30 cm by 15 cm by 10 cm. Here's a solution. Volume is L times B times H, which gives us 4,500 cm cube. So it's quite simple. I hope you've been able to learn one or two things from this class. Today's home exercise is quite simple. So make sure you send in your answers. Take note of every question. Send in the answers to the email below because we can't wait to hear from you. Hope to see you in the next class. Thank you very much and do have a wonderful day.